And in our body, our defenses to keep us healthy and, and resist disease and help us maintain resilience are the following. Number one, we have a defense called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis, two words. Uh, it's actually one word, but it's two component parts of it. Angio meaning blood or blood vessels. Genesis meaning growth. So it's how our body grows blood vessels, our circulation. And the reason blood vessels are a defense system is because we've got 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels packed into the average adult body. Wow. And these are the highways and byways that deliver blood, oxygen that we breathe, and the nutrients from the food we eat to every single cell and organ. And if we don't have enough of these blood vessels, our, our tissues, our organs starve, and many times they'll die. So we need to, our body needs to be able to maintain enough uh, blood vessels, enough circulation. And on the other hand, if we've got too many blood vessels and overage, overgrowth, that would be like a, um, a garden that overgrows with weeds those weeds actually obscure the function of the garden and they can actually destroy our health by feeding diseases. Extra blood vessels can feed diseases like cancer, as an example, or arthritis or psoriasis or many other types of harmful, uh, extra blood, unwanted blood vessels. And so the body maintains its resilience in circulation by literally maintaining a balance, the set point, this gyroscope center of gravity. And the way that I, I tell people, it's kind of like um, the old um, fairy tale Goldilocks. So not too many blood vessels, not too few blood vessels, just, but just right. Like the three bears. Yeah. The not too hard, not too soft, not too hot, not too cold, just right. <clears throat> this is a paradigm that follows all the health defenses. So, so blood vessels are one of them. Secondly, are our stem cells. Remember I said that we formed in a womb with stem cells? Yeah. Well, when we're born, we have extra stem cells left over that were not used. So it's kind of like painting a room. Uh, if you're painting a room and you're going to buy paint, right? You always buy extra paint because the last thing you want to do is to run out of paint before you finish the job. What do you do when the, when the room has been completed from painting? You've got extra cans of paint. So what do you do? You put the cap on, you put it in your garage, okay, uh, for, for another time if you need to spot check. Well, this is actually what happens with our stem cells. When we're born, uh, and our organs have formed with all these stem cells, the overage, and we've got extra stem cells. In fact, we've got 750 million extra stem cells when we're born. That gets packed up into our bone marrow where it basically sits for most of our lives until we need to repair our organs from the inside out. So regeneration, our ability to be able to renew ourselves is another health defense system. A third one is our gut. Our gut microbiome, so much has been made of how important our gut bacteria is. Um, I will tell you, we're just scratching the tip of the iceberg of understanding our gut bacteria, but I will tell you, it is so important that we've got about roughly the same number of bacteria growing inside our body as we actually have human cells. Yeah. And beyond bacteria, there's even viruses that are healthy viruses. Um, uh, I just learned this the other day. You know, we've got about 39 trillion bacteria growing inside our body. Most of them are healthy. And as you know, when we were in medical school, we were all taught, you know, we drank the Kool-Aid that bacteria are bad. And so one must destroy bacteria. And hence, there are antibiotics to match with bacteria. But in fact, most bacteria in our bodies are good. And occasionally, there is a bad actor that kind of yeah. springs out. And, and so, uh, the, the, but, but I, what I learned was that there are vi good viruses as well. In fact, there are 10 times more viruses in and on the body than, than bacteria. Yeah. So it's 380 trillion viruses, the human virome. Our DNA is hardwired as a fourth health defense system, hardwired to protect itself against damage from the environment, like ultraviolet radiation, radon from the ground, any chemicals uh, or solvents we might inhale, uh, oxidative stress, even emotional stress, which can actually fray our, our DNA, our genetic code. Our DNA can protect that. And of course, finally, our immune system, which like a uh, like the volume switch in a car radio, is perfectly tuned to be able to deliver a little inflammation where it's needed, a lot of immune protection uh, to be able to ward off invaders from the outside like bacteria and viruses and invaders from the inside like cancer. And that whole system like a volume switch on a radio needs to be able to turn it up. And when you've had enough to turn it back down and, ba and back down to that homeostatic balancing point, that set point. And for all these health defense systems, our body kind of chugs along through life, getting a, keeping us right sort of steady as she goes. 
every now and then it's got to rear up um, uh, and, and swashbuckle to get rid of some disease, but it comes right back to center. Uh, and that's what foods can actually help to support.